Good morning. Sunrise is just occurring here in North Carolina. It is a brutally cold day here in North Carolina. And this week's video is about using the blurring tool in Lightroom. So come along and enjoy this adventure. Okay, so in Lightroom, there is a tool that you can use that can de-blur, or can de-blur, that can blur your image a little bit. And this would be a perfect example of where you would use this tool. So I have a photograph here of a white crown sparrow. And right underneath the white crown sparrow on the um, left-hand side is this branch here that's all in focus. Right around its tail, these branches are in focus. This is in focus. These branches are not in focus, but they're not out of focus either. So all this is a distraction from the image itself. So the, the image of this bird becomes lost in the image itself. So we want to basically blur out some of this other stuff so that our picture of our bird just jumps out at this. So what you do is in Lightroom, you go to develop, you go down the list here to lens blur. When you select lens blur, the first thing you need to do is select the checkbox that says apply. Now, depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of your GPU and how much RAM you have on your GPU, will determine how long this uh, application runs here. Now, in my case, it's between five and 15 seconds. It really depends on a, a few other elements, but that's what it does here. After you select the checkbox, the first thing underneath the checkbox is the blur amount. This is something that you can change after you um, have selected what you're gonna blur out. And this is, I use this a lot afterwards. So I'll just leave it at 50 right now and I might change it a little bit. Um, you can boost a little bit here. This focus range here is how much of the image will be either in focus or out of focus. And you can change this depending on the image here. For right now, I'm gonna keep this in default, but as always, you can just select stuff and move it over and do that the next level so basically this application divided into two is visual depth so when you select this checkbox it will put an overlay over your image here and the brighter colors which is what this um, focus range here is is the brighter the colors the more intense or more focus it is. Um, this is not a perfect element here. This is something just like a guideline for you. You should really know what you want to take out of focus before you start doing this. So right below that are two buttons, focus and blur. So focus means that if you blur something that you don't want to be blurred, you can undo it. So this can always be undone. So I'm going to select the uh, blur button and as you can see now my mouse has turned into a brush and I can use that brush to select what I'm gonna blur out here and with most brushes on um, Lightroom here you can use the wheel on your mouse to make that brush smaller or bigger here so what I want to do is just simply hold down the mouse button and I'm just gonna select what I want to blur out here and I'm, I think it's very important that we want to blur out in my in this image here i don't want to have any of this in focus so i'm selecting all of that i'm selecting the top part here all this image back here because this is all a distraction from the bird here that um i don't i don't want any of this in focus here and what this does is when you take this stuff out of focus here it literally makes it look like it is further back in the image here so I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, hold down your uh, space bar and then click with your mouse and then click with your mouse and then uh, release with your space bar. And you should be able to do that. Sometimes you have to move the image just a tiny bit to get it to stay there. But um, I want to get as close as I can to the bird as normal. And if I wasn't doing the tutorial, I would be going a lot slower than this. So you see I'm selecting this. I want to make sure everything is selected here. Uh, again, hit your spacebar, zoom out, make sure that's selected there. And I think that's about where I'm going to stop here. Again, if I was doing this as a photograph and not as a tutorial, I would go a lot slower here. 
uh, deselect the visual depth button and if you look at it your image is now back there but your brush hasn't gone away so um, I can come down here and I still got a little bit around the tail that I can do and um, get all the way around there um, I'm gonna get a little closer to this stick here uh, but I think that's where I want to basically stop there. And as you can see, the image is a lot more blurred out. And if I wanted to select the amount of the blur, I could just grab this and move it over. And that makes a dramatic difference in the blur. The bird just kind of pops out a little bit here. Um, let me uh, hit the focus button here. It looks like you got a little bit of that bird there. Uh, we'll just select it right there. And uh, yeah. That makes a big difference when I do that. Um, and uh, basically what's happened now is all those branches that were now a distraction or a negative in the image here are now a positive. They're way in the background. They look like they're completely out of focus. And we always hear about, you want to have the background blurred out. This is a great way to do this and remove stuff. And again, this is something that you do before you do most of your color corrections or anything like that. You want to be able to repair any damage that this may or distortions that may occur after you do this so normally what I would do is go to details if I didn't denoise I would do that and if you want to know how to denoise I will leave a, leave a link below any sharpening I do I do that here then I go to my um, lens blur do that and then I, what I would do is then go up to basic and start doing my color corrections or whatever I was going to do here from this point on. So I'm hoping this helped you. I really wanted to do a really quick video so that you had some idea what was going on here. I really hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel because that really helps the YouTube world. Become a Patreon supporter. Your support allows us to keep doing this. My name is Sean Leahy. I want to thank you for watching.